welcome to java forum now i am going to show you how to manually partition the hard disk in oracle linux 6.9 virtual machine so now i am going to create the virtual machine with 16 gb ram and 160 gb hard disk yes now i am going to allocate 16 gb ram here now i am going to create a virtual hard drive with 160 gb make sure that you have enough space in your hard disk so this will be dynamically allocated so now i am creating 160 gb virtual hard drive right click settings so here i am enabling my clipboard system processor tab here i am allocating six core pro processor to this virtual machine make sure that you have you know processor core to allocate to this virtual machine and here i am selecting oracle linux 6.9 iso file as a installation media so this installation media is, is already downloaded from oracle website so i am allocating the installation device so now network according to my environment i am creating the net uh, network adapter so now everything is completed so i am going to start the virtual machine so once again i am reminding you make sure that you have enough space in your hard drive and you have enough memory and you have enough processor core to be allocated So now uh, we are going to do manual partition of a virtual hard drive. So now uh, system is booting. So I am skipping the media test now. the installation screen has arrived so i am clicking the next button i am selecting english as my language so i am selecting basic storage devices so i am will discard the data so that it will format the entire space next i am selecting the time zone here i am going to give the administrator password so this will be the root password to this virtual machine here i am going to select create custom layer as option so this will guide us to the manual partitioning screen So here you can see the free space of our virtual hard drive. I am creating, uh, clicking the create button. So first partition, I am going to create a root partition. It will be the file system type ext4 file system type, and it will be the primary partition. So I am allocating 22 GB to this mount point. so still some free space is there so again i am going to create so this partition will be slash home directory so i am alloc allocating 10 gb to this uh, home directory so the file system will be ext4 so all the 
mount points file system will be ext4 so again i am creating one more so this will be slash tmp slash tmp is a temporary space used by linux operating system so i am allocating 10 gb so again i am going to create another it will be slash usr slash usr is a very important directory where all the software installations will be the installation files will be residing so i am allocating 16 gb to this partition so still some free space is there so again i am going to create another mount point it will be slash var so slash var is a variable data like uh, log files etc will be stored in slash var so i am going to allocate 10 gb to this mount point and again some free space is there so i am creating slash usr slash local here the i am going to allocate 10 gb to this mount point So again some free space is there, click that free space, create button. So slash opt, here slash opt I am going to allocate 25 GB. So I am going to use slash opt as my third party software installation. So slash opt so i have wrongly done so uh, slash opt slash opt i am allocating 25 gb here uh, i am going to use this mount point as my storage uh, for my sorry installation directory third party installation directory so slash opt created successfully again some uh, free space is there so here i am going to create uh, swap space so swap is a temporary space used by linux so it is it will be acting as a virtual memory so i am giving 26 gb to my swap so i will be using swap uh, for my memory hungry application so in future i may install memory hungry application so it will be using swap space now i am going to create folder uh, called slash software so slash software will be my storage directory of my binaries so i am allocating 25 gb to this slash software so slash software is a manually created mount point so which is not listed in the drop down so again some space you can there is there so I am going to allocate the remaining space to slash log files. So I am allocating the remaining space to slash log files. Yes, so everything created successfully and I have not created space for slash boot. So uh, before you write the changes to hard disk, review your settings. So I have not allocated the space to slash boot because slash boot uh, bootloader installation files will be automatically installed in slash root. So I have not created separate partition for this uh, bootloader uh, configuration files. So now the installation is going to begin. So here I am selecting desktop as my option. So installation going to start and uh, you no need to worry about uh, regarding the boot. So as it is, uh, this is a virtualized environment. So uh, we no need to worry about that. So installation has started. So once installation completed, we are going to verify each and every folder whether it was created or allocated correctly. So uh, 
make sure that you have enough hard disk space, memory, and processor core. So this I am reminding once again. So now installation is completed almost. So now once uh, installation complete, we are going to verify. So let us wait. Yes, done. So I am going to reboot. Fine, so uh, now Oracle Linux 6.9 boots successfully. Now I'm going to configure. So I'm accepti accepting the license agreement now. And now I am uh, going to create one user. So this user will be the login user. Selecting the time zone now. So I'm enabling the KDAM so that I have to reboot once again. Yes, successfully rebooting. Uh, so installation was successful. So manual partitioning also successful, but uh, we are going to verify. So now I'm going to log in. Yes, so now we arrived to Oracle Linux 6.9 desktop. So here you go to system menu. So about this computer will give you the basic information. So you here you can see the processor core, six processor core is allocated successfully. So you can uh, verify the file system in multiple ways. Uh, through command line also you can verify. So here I'm verifying each and every directory by right clicking those directories. So here I have verified the home directory, so it's allocated correctly. So log files directory, so right clicking the log files directory, you can check what uh, what is the space that are allocated. Yes, it was allocated correctly. So I am right clicking slash opt properties, yes it was also get allocated correctly. Slash temp also allocated uh, correctly. So I can see all uh, directory are correctly allocated with some free space. So now I'm going to verify the space swap space memory installed in command line through command line. So I open the terminal. So free iPhone yum uh, or df iPhone kh uh, gives you the space allocated for each and every mount point. So don't forget this command df iPhone kh. So here also you can verify. So uh, here you can see all the mount point is allocated. Free iPhone M commands gives you 
amount of RAM memory installed and swap space installed. So swap space you can see 26 GB allocated correctly. RAM is 16 GB. So Oracle Linux 6.9 manual partitioning was successful. Subscribe our YouTube channel Java FRM for more videos.